Shalom, shalom, shalom. It's your boy, Yaosef, aka Rigo, BKA, Bro Word. And I am your uh, Torah observant patriarch. And it's a beautiful December 24th, or what the world would call Christmas Eve. Uh, and you could tell that these people don't have no regard for actually living a life built on a solid foundation. They have never investigated truth and it shows. Why do I say that? I say that because anything you build should be on a solid foundation. Lest what you build go to shit. Because there was, because you built it on top of something that wasn't level, it wasn't square, it wasn't plumb. It wasn't structurally sound. You just built willy-nilly. You didn't investigate. You didn't you didn't look to see, hey, before I dig here, are there any gas lines here? Are there any electrical lines here? You know? Is there something I should know before I build my whole life? And I mean, small testimony for me. I'm really just getting started and building what I'm trying to do and going in the direction I'm trying to go in because before I came into the knowledge of the truth, I didn't know which way was up. I didn't know which way was up, which way was down. I didn't know my left from my right. Why do I say that? I say that because life, life, excuse me, life, is filled with lies. And I mean straight up lies. I mean, people act like they know something. You know, pan-African people. Why would anybody be pan-African? That's a spirit. Pan means everything. And pan is the name of a demon. You know, the goat of Mendez, uh, the Baphomet. Yeah, that's, that's who Pan is. Peter Pan, Pete, Ty, Pan, anyway. But Pan means everything. Just like these pansexuals. They'll have sex with your children. They'll have sex with a dead body. They'll have sex with an animal. They'll have sex with uh, 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 the same sex. All that. And I'm going to do a review on The Matrix. I don't know if I'm going to watch that. But from what I heard, it, it's talking about that that Neo and Trinity is the one. So you need both the male and the female to be the one. That's 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 uh, the transsexual agenda, which always goes back to the Baphomet, uh, who has both male and female uh, genitalia. Anyway, uh, let me roll these windows up. It's like 60, it's 70 degrees out here on what the world calls Christmas Eve. Anyway, uh, let me turn this heat on. So, so uh, anyway, yeah. So before I came into knowledge of the faith, knowledge of the truth, you know, uh, I didn't know which way to go. I didn't know if I should I, I mean, how can I how can I start building a life and I don't even know what God to worship? I don't even know who I should be putting my faith in, my trust in. You know, I always had that that sense of before you do anything, figure out figure out who you gonna worship, who you gonna serve. You know. So that's why I'm saying I'm just getting started because I, I just started serving y'all. Sorry about the lighting. I just started serving you. You know? It's only been about five, six years. Uh, maybe going on seven, I don't know. But what I do know is that I'm an Israelite for life. That's it. It's T-O-P. Torah observed patriarch. No matter what, I'm always going to observe that Torah 
and I'm always going to be the head of my house. And that's for life. Ain't nothing going to stop that. Even if they put a gun to my head. I don't give a fuck about that. Excuse my language. You kill me. So what? I go see the master. But if I kill you, nigga, you're going to lift your eyes in hell. And it's war out here. Nigga won't beef and it's war. Ain't nobody finna just lay down and let a nigga shoot him. Nah, that ain't how this work out here. David didn't just lay down when Goliath was talking talking hot mess about the uh about the father, did he? No, he went out there with some stones and he put that he put that dude down. And then he cut his head off with his own sword. So let's get it straight. Anyway, uh but the world though. They're so quick to you know, all the, the focus is uh, get good grades in high school, uh, get into a good college, uh, make sure you get uh, good grades in college, uh, play sports, or get a scholarship, or get an internship, and, and get a house, and get a wife, and get this, and get that, and then you look up, and you done spent your whole life living a lie, chasing at the stuff that don't even matter. And your whole your whole legacy is built on a lie. And because we live in a matrix, because we live in a uh, in a uh, idealic structure that um that lends itself to a legacy being built off lies a lot of people have gotten away with thinking that oh well my grandfather didn't care about that my great great grandfather didn't care about that nobody cares about that I gotta care about putting food on the table but what they don't understand is that a thousand years on this earth is uh, one day with Yah so just because it's been thousands of years on the face of this earth and it looked like that you know heathens are getting away with uh you know living lies and they're prospering and and all this and that the truth is is that everything that has been sown is going to be reaped the paradigm is shifting as I speak. So. It would make sense. For people to at least investigate. The truth. You know investigate. Has what I've been told. Beneficial to my soul. Or. Even. Uh. Is it beneficial to the prosperity and wealth going forward in generations because I'm because what I've built is on a solid foundation? But what we also have to take into account that a lot of these people serve the devil and they know. So they're being blessed. This is their version of the kingdom. But yet behind closed doors, they're performing homosexual acts. They're eating feces or shit. They're drinking piss. Uh, they're going to mansions to do uh, sacrifices of babies and things of that nature. Yo, any any religion where you have to hurt something helpless, it's, it's despicable, bro. Straight up despicable. And the people on television, the people in secular music that provide this, this rap and this hip-hop and this R&B and country music and every pop music, everything you think, if it's not holy, is, is really of the devil. And I'm not saying that you have to put yourself in a bubble room and just pray that you never get influenced by anything. No, what you have to do is you have to have the word hidden in your heart, thus having a strong foundation built on truth so that when lies are presented to you, you can reject them in your mind or cast them down according to what the word says. Because if secular music is enough to knock you out the faith, 
then when the devil start grabbing people and torturing them, the, the man of sin, yes, it's those that proclaim the faith, those that try to hold on to the truth, the devil is going to try to get them to deny the faith in many ways. And if he can get you to deny the faith by playing secular music, oh, how small was your strength. Build what you build on a strong foundation. And that foundation is truth. And if you want to know what the truth is, the truth is the Torah. I'm your Ak, bro word. And this is the Torah Observer Patriarch. Hit that like, comment, subscribe, share, all that. Shalom.